Hello, happy vlog. I feel like I'm starting to vlog a bit weird. Hi! <laughs> we are at Arlanda, which is the biggest airport in Sweden. It's the main international airport outside of Stockholm and our flight is leaving tomorrow at 6 a.m. We are heading to Rome. What is the name of the airport? Fiumicino Ciampino. Okay, so which one is it? Fiumicino. Okay. If it's the one on F. Yeah, it's the one on F. <laughs> I can't pronounce any of them. I'm gonna show you the room. The room is really nice. We're staying at a hotel that's somewhat at the airport. I was kind of hoping it was gonna be closer, but we've been bamboozled. <laughs> Not my fault. We've no, been scammed. we've been scammed. No, honestly, it's just the hotel's website. It's just showing incorrect on the map where the hotel is. But now that we're here, it's kind of nice room and we got upgraded. We are heading for a honeymoon in Italy. Should I have started a vlog like that? Honeymoon! We're going to Ischia. This is probably going to be part one out of two. And on this first part, we are going to Ischia and our plane leaves tomorrow. And we're taking the train from Rome to Napoli and then we're taking the boat from Napoli to Ischia. So tomorrow's gonna be travel day. I'm probably gonna speed through that a bit with you, but I just wanted to start the vlog because we actually left home. Let me show you the room. So they did update, like upgrade our room a bit. It's a pretty nice room. This is what they call a superior room. Um, I feel like it's pretty nice. This TV is pretty impressive, but we were thinking let's head and get <laughs> some dinner. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. I'm really hungry. Wow, you seem really interested in this vlog. I'm so happy you're here. I thought you were showing the room. Why are you showing me? You're the prettiest thing in this room. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good morning. What time is it? Six o'clock? I think it's six o'clock. Uh, see the sun is going up. I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's so much pretty in real life. Well, the sun is going up. We are waiting for a flight. We're at the airport. And we're heading up. These are real. Ooh. Mm. It's almost like a spa without the spa. <laughs> are you excited for Italy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me too. Good food, good coffee, and better weather. Ooh. embracing the 90s in the best way possible with this fluffy top by the way. This is the part of the 90s that can come back or like early 2000s. You can keep the low right jeans. This the second half. Oh my god, we're finally here. I took a shower, I didn't do any makeup. Like, this is me, fresh faced, and I have literally rubbed off all of my sunless tanner because I'm expecting myself to get a new tan here. We're staying at this hotel here, the yellow building, and the marina is right here. And I think that if you go down here, you get to a beach. What is the time? Look at how handsome he is in his shirt. Six. Okay, Ooh. so it's six o'clock and we are heading to get some dinner. We haven't had anything to eat today. Well, no, we had one sandwich on the boat. On the boat right here, we split a sandwich. That is true, but we are hungry. 
I'm a little bit tired. I mean, we went up at 0410. Is that true? Yeah, 0410 this morning. Sorry about the traffic here, but it's, it's very cute here. I'll try to show you as much as possible, but there's a big risk that we just end up having dinner and a beer. What are you doing? Nothing's open. Nothing is open? Why? Opens at 7. Opens at 7. Okay, that means we get to look at things for a bit. Oh, look at this. And then we get to eat. Are you gonna wear your face mask like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is our hotel room. It's pretty small. I booked this hotel because it was it was described as the typical like no it was like the, the perfect southern Italian experience. And I was like, yes, I do want the typical <laughs> or the perfect southern Italian experience. That's really high. Like the ceiling is really high. The bathroom is pretty nice. We have. Bikinis on, well, I have my new bikini on, and he has his bathing shorts on, and we are heading to the beach. Oh, first coffee. Coffee. Always coffee first. I have been ignoring you all day. It is six o'clock and the sun is setting. Hi, husband. We have been at the beach all day since, well, I don't know. When did we get there? 11? Mm -hmm. I need to pull up my, I need to pull up my dress. Well, that sounds like an invitation to an OnlyFans post, but I have a very long dress on and I think I'm too short for this long dress. <laughs> It's a problem, short people problem. But yeah, we've been there all day. We even had lunch at the beach. It's been a little bit cloudy. I still feel like a pale Swede. A little bit. We had some snow, snow. <laughs> we did not have snow. We did have some sun, but it's been a little bit cloudy. It, it, I looked at the weather report. It's supposed to be raining tomorrow. So we have not 100% made up our mind what we're gonna do tomorrow. But we'll figure something out and then i looked at the weather report and it no longer said that it was going to be cloudy the other days it said just sun so that's nice but we are heading back to the hotel and i guess dinner we did see yesterday when we were looking for a place to buy water we did see the italian makeup brand i think it's called wycom 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 do you remember Mm -hmm. They they had a store and you have been recommending me to check them out So maybe I'll do that later. I'll do that on this trip by the way because I saw they had a store and I'll bring you along Of course, okay. We are ready for dinner, but first we are gonna go in here. You can't see anything. Can you see anything? No We're going to Wycon. We're gonna see what it's all about Maybe they'll have fun things I don't need any makeup, so I only bought two things. I bought two things and I bought a concealer. Because I, I forgot my concealer. Well, a concealer. I have a million. I forgot a concealer. This is the Smoothing Secret. I actually thought in store that this was the one that I was like the most interested in. I don't, I don't know what I'm showing you. This I'm showing you a concealer. Makes no sense. But I bought another thing. It's really interesting. Let me show you. I bought a cream highlighter. So I only bought two things. Why can't I find it? Come here. This is the... Interruptions. That's what it is. This is the Light Me Up. It is like a highlighter stick. 
this is like the color it's like a gold-ish bronze it looked really nice when I swatched it it was one of those nice pretty emollient but not sticky or too cream or oily sticks and it also had a really nice sheen and yeah I'm gonna try it tomorrow but now food Entering the danger zone. <laughs> it was supposed to be raining today, but as you can tell, it is not raining. We decided to rent a moped. Is it called that in English? Is that that? Ah, oh, because he's not done with his motorcycle license yet. But this is the place we're vis visiting. I'm showing you through a fence, but this is what we're visiting. This castle over here, that's what we're visiting. You're getting the worst angle ever, but we are gonna head over there. Uh, it's like on a natural bridge. I'm gonna show you when we get there. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to visit this island. are at what's the call? I'm sorry, what was the name? Iskia. Wow, Captain Ab obvious came with me to Iskia. What's the name of this castle? Castle? Wow, we're really learning here today. Welcome to another episode of Learning with Angie. You're welcome. But we are at I think the top of the castle. You mean you can see the bridge over here and this is the island, the rest of Iskia? Oh, you're trying to find the name. That's all. That's How long has this castle been here? 2,000 years? Almost 2,000 years? Roughly. What was it called? Castello... Castello? Castello Aragonese di Ischia. Okay, that's the one. <laughs> Learning with Ricardo. Anyways, we just had a little break. It's actually quite steep getting up here and it's quite warm, but... We're gonna see the rest of the rest of the place. I don't know if I'm gonna be vlogging anymore. Maybe if I find some more interesting stones to show you, interesting rocks. But yeah, this is how far we climbed up here. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry, no elevator. Gee, thanks. Okay, we decided to do a lunch break. I asked for something small and this this is like <laughs> You got something smaller. You got spaghetti. Spaghetti. So, we are at the 
what is it called? Yardini la Mortella? How's my Italian? I think that means I did horrible. It is in, what would you call it? A botanic garden? Tropical garden. Tropical garden. It is a tropical garden and we decided, it was supposed to be cloud, it was supposed to be rainy today. <laughs> it has been neither cloudy or rainy, but this is a very, all of this is in shadows. So this is gonna be, I hope, a really good time to be visiting. How much is the time? It's like two, three? Three, yeah, 3 30. So it's still pretty warm, but since all of this is in the shade, this is the perfect time to do this. And tomorrow we'll do a beach day. I need to work on this tan. Wait, my tan. <laughs> it's like Mediterranean skin. All he has to do is think about the sun and he gets tan. It's not fair. Good morning. I forgot about you last night. <laughs> yeah, I didn't forget about you. But we went out and just had pizza. Because pizza in Italy is amazing and pizza everywhere else is just a sad sandwich in comparison. I'm gonna be honest with you. But we had pizza and now we're having morning coffee and then we're heading to a new beach. Uh, we're heading to the beach on the south side and I decided to put something like this on because it's very sunny and I want to control how much sun I get on my shoulders. <laughs> so we're doing sunblock and a long sleeve thing while we're driving and then I have my bikini underneath. But Oh my god, my voice sounds so weird. Is that me pre-coffee? I'm waiting for my cappuccino. Okay, so this is the beach that we are heading to today. Like, we're standing here on... You can see me, hello, with my helmet on. And we are standing on a bit of, like the edge because look at all these turpentine roads and serpentine roads what we call them serpentine roads yeah, serpentine. serpentine 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 English not my, not my thing but it's gonna lead us all the way down to the ocean <sighs> back from the beach oh my god this lighting is 10 out of 10 am i giving you angles i am not really wearing any makeup a little bit of brows and this colored balm from lancome this is in three two three it's the orange one i thought it'd take like one second why are you looming in the background <laughs> i thought it'd take one second just to show you what makeup i brought Shh. i'm trying to do something here I'm just gonna show you what makeup I brought and then we are heading out for dinner. Okay, so this is literally the worst like presentation ever. But I brought some small ones in case I wanted to use those. I also brought this looking like a snack by Beach Cosmetics. Because I really felt like I wanted to do this dramatic moment one night. I don't... I'm not wearing that much makeup when we're out here like on the island because it's more like a sun vacation but we are gonna spend some days in the city. I brought the Break the Rules. I've actually used this one twice so far just to pack some shimmers on the lid and some mascara. Really been enjoying it. I think this is a really nice palette if you want just a all shimmer palette. I brought the Amore and the Malfi. Not because I needed to have a 
neutral palette because but because I, we are literally so close to the Amalfi Coast I felt like I kind of needed to bring it and I brought this one the Lust to Dusk because I haven't reviewed this yet and I really want to use it a bit more before I review it yes I realized that I brought two neutral palettes but don't come for me it is what it is just some brushes and things that I've been using. This is the lipstick that I'm bringing for tonight. I have my brow powder. I did bring this one, the Ease Drop by Fenty. And I also brought the, this one, the Becca Skin Tint. Because I thought that this would be a perfect combo. One is a bit luminous, one is a bit matte. I thought that could be like the perfect combo. And I also did bring, you know, I bought this one. I wanted to try it. It's like a face magnet primer. I've been using it a bit. I don't really feel like I have an opinion on it yet. This is a new highlighter that I bought and the new concealer that I bought. I did bring the Vive blush. This blush is meant to make it look like you have a little bit of sunburn and I thought that this was a perfect blush to bring. This is the color of it. And I brought one of my favorite highlighters ever, the Hades highlighter. My favorite powder. I also brought this one, the Genesis Highlighter by Melt. I use it as a blush. I felt like this was perfect to bring. So pretty. Oh, and I also brought this highlighter. The Spotlight one from Charlotte Tilbury. Just a little bit of everything. Some things to wear. I did bring some lippies from Charlotte Tilbury as well. Because I thought that those were perfect to bring along. And... I did bring this new lipstick. I got it just as we were leaving. The Fresh Lips Glossy Lip Stain by Colourpop. I have worn this one night and hmm, I think I need to wear it again before I can like make up my mind about it. I also brought this new lipstick from Huda. Remember I really like that one. Oh, and this one, the lip oil from Sigma. Ugh, I really like this one. Okay, we are outside of the hotel. We have the road just outside of here. Is this better? lighting for the makeup i'm just having some of that new highlighter i really like it and just an orange lippy and some eyebrows i love the look of a lot of makeup but i'm gonna be honest if i have been soaking by the beach the entire day your skin is a bit warm everything is just sticky <laughs> even though you've taken a shower it's still sticky it's really nice to just do minimal makeup i'm gonna be honest and i quite enjoy this like because you, your skin is like a little bit sun-kissed. We forgot our helmet for our moppet. It's right here. We forgot it upstairs. So Ricardo went to get it. But we are going to... There are two ports on this island. And we are going to the other one. Here he comes. Let's go. Or maybe... He can take my outfit. Let me show my outfit. I have cute outfit. Instagram model. Hashtag. Good morning! It is Monday. It's not a normal Monday. We are at... We are at... The Gombo. That one. We're at that one. It's really pretty here. We're heading to the beach. It's very... I think this is the most like lush green place we've seen like so far. I love someone's emptying the trash behind us. But this is really green and lush. More green and lush than you, I know of the Mediterranean area, but we're heading to this beach and this is also the area where that um, there's another like tropical garden close to this beach and it is supposedly specialized in plants from Sri Lanka, which is odd, but uh, intriguing. <laughs> This is our spot for today. Are you excited? 
<laughs> I even brought two books today because I read I read I've actually finished four books while I've been here so today I brought two books two because I want to finish both of them at least one of them did you bring your book too mm -hmm. you like your book I finished half a book did you finish half a book and I finished four <laughs> I'm sleeping you're reading <laughs> that is true full day at the beach do I look like a full day at the beach I do think I look like a full day at the beach hi we were wanting to go to this tropical garden but it turns out it's actually an outside spa surrounded by a tropical garden so I mean there's no point in going to a spa at the end of the day so we might do that tomorrow we're toying with the idea spa. Pools. it's an outside spa it sounds very it's luxurious a bunch of pools. I want to be a bougie bitch that goes to the Mediterranean outside spa I also want to get a soda because I really am craving a sugar sh sugar shock. Can we have a Coke? Can we stay for a Coke? Stay. Okay. Stay somewhere on the road for a Coke. No, stop. Yes. Yes, we can. I need sugar. Sugar. We are trying to figure out what to eat. It is nighttime. I did not put any makeup on. I just put some moisturizer on. I just didn't feel like it. I am wearing <laughs> sandals, a dress, a little cardigan and my blue gucci this gucci bag is my most used bag it's such a great bag to liven up any outfit are you finding something good not yet google is helping us find a good restaurant we were supposed to go to another first we were supposed to go to one place and we realized it's one hour on the moped and that's just too much a bitch is not up for that that i'm not that adventurous <laughs> I don't need that in my life. So then we were heading in another place and we were just passing by the street and I was like, how did this look like? It could be a good street. And this street is very quaint. It has some stores, you can see here, has some stores, has some restaurants. Now we're just trying to find a good one. And it was only like 10 minutes with the Muppet instead. Mm -hmm. Big fan. Oh, it feels really nice to not have any makeup on. I'm really sticky. I put a lot of moisturizer on But I will say I am a little bit red from today, but not as red as him. I think you're more red than me But you really like laying in the Sun. I like being in the shade. I brought two books and I only read one only Still read a book. I feel good about that. I did put on my cell phone like halfway through and played cell phone games for like an hour as well because <laughs> That's what vacation is all about doing mindless fun things at the beach <laughs> can you tell about this beautiful start that we had wow i am the worst <laughs> vlogger ever tell us about the starter we're not telling anyone about anything <laughs> it was uh, mozzarella uh, olives capers tomatoes and olive oil and basil you can see that imagine imagine some mozzarella and some basil <laughs> I ordered pasta and you ordered risotto yeah pasta pasta with what would you call it? clams clams yeah. good morning we are at Negombi? Negomba? Nope. Negombi? Nope. Negombo? Yep. Negombo. Negombo. That's a short memory. <laughs> I told you, my memory is excellent. It's just very, very short. So we basically just pay the entrance and it's very lush and green here. And there's supposed to be a bunch of pools. And we are by the beach. It's an out, outhouse, outhouse? No, outside spa. Outdoor spa. Yeah. Outdoor spa. I'm trying to find the changing rooms. And all of a sudden they stopped with the signs. Is this the one, Nanini? Uh, no, I think the changing rooms are the ones you saw yesterday on the beach. Really? Either way, this is what it looks like. It's very pretty. I'll try and show you a bit and I'll probably get rid of get rid of the camera but I don't see myself like bringing out the camera but I'll see if I can show you a bit 
just need to find a changing room because I am not in my bikini. Ooh, this is cozy. Okay, we think we found our spot. Are you excited? <laughs> That's not your excited face. Show me your excited face. <laughs> this is gonna be our spot for today. We went around and we looked at every single pool. How many pools are there? No. 14 pools. I don't know if I showed you everyone, but we've gone along, uh, around to look at them. You can see there a bunch of them are on the hillside. So this island has been very hilly. This has been a vacation of stairs and my legs are like shaking. I need to exercise more. But yeah, we are going to be here for the rest of the day and I'll check in with you in a bit. We are done and we listen to this man's sandals. <laughs> listen, at least I'm not losing him in here because you cannot, these are not sneaky slippers. These are not sneaky slippers. But yeah, we are done and we have literally no idea what time it is. It could be three o'clock, it could be six o'clock. I literally have no idea. We're toying with the idea of visiting another little city. We also want to go to Proshida, is, is it called Proshida? Which is a little island where you can take a day trip. So we're toying with the idea of doing that tomorrow because tomorrow is actually our last day in Ischia. Do we need to leave the moped today as well? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Okay. Anyways, this is it. And I think we're heading somewhere? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so we are at Sant'Angelo. I think this is like the little, not island. You can see there is a natural bridge with a, like a, some beach in between this little, not really island, but almost. But look at how cute all of these buildings are on top of this hill. And here's the ocean. And I think you can swim from this, this one over here as well. Very cute. And also, I don't know, I've been trying to show you, but there's a sunset going on over here. <laughs> sunset over the cars. It's very pretty. Let's have a coffee. Coffee! Thank you. 
island next to Ischia. So we're doing a little excursion. A day excursion. Hopefully we we'll like the island because we don't have return tickets until 6 <laughs> It's 7 even. It's 7? If we hate this island, we just have to go to a bar and get drunk, I guess. Let's call that plan B. <laughs> so this is the boat that we came with. Here's Ricardo. Hey! <laughs> and this is by the water, by the docks. It's pretty cute, but why is there so much traffic? What is with Italians? Like this island is like 200 meters long. Do you need your car? I don't get it. <laughs> What's up with the traffic, guys? Listen, Italy, I love you, but do you have to bring your cars everywhere? I'm at the parking lot. Everything that's supposedly pretty on this island and this town is covered by cars. There is cars and mopeds and motorcycles everywhere. I am I'm at the parking lot. Like, look at all the cars. Look. It's ridiculous. Again, Italy, I love you, but this is ridiculous. I think we found a spot that doesn't have a car, although I will say this this is also a car road. Like, cars will come down this road. I don't know what it is with Italians and making everything a road for cars, but <laughs> I guess it is what it is. Ricardo's trying to say, why don't you end this day before you become too intoxicated? We only had a little bit of wine. Although, my battery is dying. That's probably why I should be ending this vlog today. I'm gonna charge my battery tonight. Um, I like this island though. It is a little bit too traffic trafficy, but that's an Italian thing. It's just a clash of cultures and that's like a part of it's a part of traveling to, to like realize that different parts of the world are like different, which is a nice thing. I like the food though, the food was really nice. I really like my food. I had some kind of a lemon pesto spaghetti thing. But my battery is dying. It's been a really nice day. We are heading to another place to have some ice cream. I'm gonna charge my batteries tonight, I promise. And you wanna say hi? <laughs> I'll see you in a bit with a newly charged battery. Good morning. We are on the boat heading to Napoli uh, and I'm gonna end this vlog here. <laughs> I was like, oh, I had my morning coffee, I promise. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Um, I'm gonna have part two be our time in Napoli and also a, a one day in Rome, last day in Rome. So thank you so much for watching. It feels weird ending this with a mask, but I'm on the boat and I'm inside. This is one of those fast boats. So don't forget to subscribe and I will have the second part up real soon and if the second part is already up I will link that down in the description box sorry about the sound around thank you bye say bye <laughs>